My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Hello and welcome back to Fact Me Up channel. In today's video we're diving into the whimsical world of Forrest Gump. From bench wisdom to iconic moments, join us as we jog through the charming and quirky world of everyone's favorite running man, and uncover 16 fascinating facts about Forrest Gump. In the scene when Forrest gets up to talk at the Vietnam rally in Washington, the microphone plug is pulled and we cannot hear him. According to Tom Hanks what Forrest said was, sometimes when people go to Vietnam, they go home to their mamas without any legs. Sometimes they don't go home at all. That's a bad thing. That's all I have to say about that. When Forrest first learns to play ping pong in the infirmary, he is told Now the secret to this game is, no matter what happens, never, ever take your eye off the ball. After that moment, whenever he is shown playing ping pong, he never blinks. Tom Hanks signed on to this film after only an hour and a half of reading the script, but agreed to take the role only on the condition that the film was historically accurate. He initially wanted to ease Forrest's pronounced southern accent, but was eventually persuaded by Robert Zemeckis to portray the heavy accent stressed in the novel, and he patterned his accent after Michael Connor Humphreys, the actor portraying young Forrest, who actually spoke that way. I'm as stupid as a stupid does. The crew and especially studio head Sherry Lansing initially had serious doubts about Hank's goofy accent, but Zemeckis stuck to his guns, and Hanks went on to winning an Academy Award for his performance. The line, My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. was improvised by Tom Hanks while filming the scene, and director Robert Zemeckis liked it so much that he decided to keep it in. Forrest Gump's running scene was inspired by an actual real-life event. In 1982, Louis Michael Figueroa, a 16-year-old teenager became the fastest and youngest person to run across the United States, covering the route from New Jersey to San Francisco in 60 days. He wanted to fulfill a promise to a friend who was dying of bone cancer, and unknowingly inspired a line for Forrest Gump's famous run on the silver screen. When I got tired, I slept. When I got hungry, I ate. When I had to go, you know, I win. Forrest Gump's Medal of Honor ceremony uses the footage of the actual ceremony for veteran Sammy L. Davis who was awarded the Medal of Honor on the 19th of November, 1968 by President Lyndon B. Johnson for his actions in Vietnam a year earlier. Tom Hanks' head was then superimposed on Davis's body for the scene in the movie. Inspired by Lt. Dan Taylor, the military veteran character he played in this movie, Gary Sinise co-founded a rock and roll cover band during the mid-2000s called the Lt. Dan Band. The band often goes on USO tours to play for US military personnel stationed around the world, and also plays various benefits for veteran-related causes. He has also formed a foundation for injured war veterans, which raises up to $30 million per year, and has 12 private jets which they use to fly these veterans plus many sick children to various locations around the world. To date he's raised over $300 million, and was awarded the Presidential Citizen Medal in 2008 for his charity efforts. David Allen Greer, Ice Cube, and Dave Chappelle all turned down the role of Bubba. Cube refused to play an idiot and Chappelle thought the movie would bomb. Chappelle had since admitted to deeply regretting not taking the role sucked. and would eventually go on to play Tom Hanks' friend in a different movie, You've Got Mail in 1998. Interestingly, Tupac Shakur auditioned for the part, but was denied the role. Prior to filming, Paramount Pictures had cut the original budget by about $10 million, and were trying to force director Robert Zemeckis to cut out scenes they felt were unnecessary, like the shrimp boat or the Vietnam scenes. Zemeckis fought the studio hard to keep those scenes, and Paramount executive Michelle Manning was even sent to the set to supervise filming, and make sure the movie stayed within budget. Zemeckis eventually gave up part of his and Tom Hanks' salary to keep most of the scenes, and eventually agreed to cut out Forrest's running sequence. 
however, Zemeckis then simply ignored the studio's wishes, and even received support from Manning. The running scenes were shot in secrecy without the studio's knowledge, and Tom Hanks' younger brother, Jim Hanks, doubled for him in many of them. According to Jim, Tom had other doubles but they couldn't do the run, referring to Forrest's geeky stiff stride, that's a stupid Hanks thing. The studio eventually found out, but when they saw the raw footage, they relented. Only the scene at Monument Valley was still missing because the money had run out, and since the studio refused to pay for it, Hanks and Zemeckis did it themselves. When the studio imposed budget cuts, both director Robert Zemeckis and Tom Hanks waived a large part of their fee in exchange for percentage of the box office, which ultimately netted Hanks in the region of $40 million. During the ambush in Vietnam, the enemy is never actually seen. This led many combat veterans, especially Vietnam veterans, to rate this as one of the most accurate combat scenes in movie history. They recalled, it was very sudden, the enemy isn't seen, and it happens very quickly. The scene where Forrest spots Jenny at a peace rally at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. required visual effects to create the large crowd of people. Over two days of filming and approximately 1,500 extras were used. At each successive take, the extras were rearranged and moved into a different quadrant away from the camera. With the help of computers, the extras were multiplied to create a crowd of several hundred thousand people. The park bench that Tom Hanks sat on for much of the movie was located in historic Savannah, Georgia, at Chippewa Square. The fiberglass bench he sat on since then has been removed and placed into a museum to avoid being destroyed by bad weather, or possibly stolen. The church where the feather first falls was about 100 yards just down the street from the bench. To this day, the bench is held in the Savannah History Museum. The actor who portrayed the reporter during Forrest Gump's visit to Washington, D.C. after his Vietnam tour was actually a tourist from Atlanta, Georgia. He happened to be on Capitol Hill with his wife that day when he was asked to play a small role in the movie, and he happily agreed. With every transition of Forrest's age, one thing remains the same. In the first scene of each transition, he wears a blue plaid shirt. In the scenes where Forrest is in college and playing football, you might notice that his uniform is always spotless, while other players' uniforms are dirty. This is because no one is fast enough to catch him. 